Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. So we have another Tech One product. This is the LED headphone holder and it lights up and apparently USB powered as well. well. Let's check this thing out. You guys know that the Dollar Store Dollarama can actually have some good deals once in a while on some tech stuff. And that they also have a lot of stuff that's garbage too. However, I've gotten actually, um, they're like little tower lights that also can lay down too. I actually gave those to my wife. Um, she likes them, she uses them a lot. But um, they're not bad either for the money. And uh, this kit was only $5. So I thought, for five bucks, can it be any good? And uh, anyway, so I do have a set of wireless headphones that she bought me a while back. And um, I thought, well, I've been hanging stuff on the walls. I do have another set of headphones that are wired that are studio headphones, but I uh, don't need them um, on my desk. So anyway, we do not get a charging brick. You're on your own, but not a big deal. We've got that covered. And wow, they give you a pretty long cable. All right, that's not too shabby. And there's our little light tube which we actually have to plug into here. And uh, it's only gonna plug in one way. And looking like so. And that's it. And then the cable gets buried partially inside the tube. Some assembly is required. So don't squeeze too much pressure in on the tube or you're going to fracture it. That looks pretty good. And this simply just goes on here. Wow, that doesn't really sit that far on there. So you're gonna have to give it a little bit of a squeeze down. Put some power to her. And it lights up red. It's got this little moon pattern, which I suspect is going to hit our ceiling. <laughs> Ooh, green, blue, purple. Got another sort of blue. Not too shabby. Oh, we got white. Oh, we got some multicolors. Ooh, that's kind of neat. That'll drive you bonkers. Oh, little different pulse mode of the different colors. Cool. Straight out red again. So I'm thinking because. Oh, I think we uh, got an issue already. <laughs> yeah, the cap wants to come off now. This has got to twist around the other way, but... All right. Well, there's part of the cheapy part of it right there. Well, that wasn't assembled very well now, was it? So that should actually go this way.
However, we are still going to need to, I think, glue that down in place properly. But, that'll work. Alright, let's just grab our headphones. Well, works good. Plenty stable. I say okay. All right. A little cheap on the cap. And if you get the cap around the wrong way, like I did at first, wasn't thinking. Hey, happens, right? Um, besides, so not like to give you instructions other than look at the box. That's your. Oh, see, I did have it the right way. But what they show is this. So they show it in this position, which I think that's kind of stupid because. There's nothing to stop them from falling off. At least if you had put them this way, which, you know, you got more space, but then you could also fit two pair on there. I think that's the better way to do it. So I did get it right the first time, according to their diagram. But, um, yeah, their diagram, look real close. That is exactly the way I had it at first. And it's like, that's going to slip off too easy. It's too narrow in here. It's just, it's dumb. This way, they're going to stay secure on there and they're not coming off. So, my way is the right way. Their way is the wrong way. But, who's to argue, right? They all have their thing. But that cap does need to be uh, glued on better. It's kind of, uh, I was looking at the glue as it was popping the cap and it's kind of like... Um, gooey-ish, you know? It's not glue-glue, right? It's it's kind of glue, but it's not. Hard to explain. Anyway, you get the idea. Pull out some crazy glue if the cap pops on you. Dig the cap out of the top. Don't rip because there's wires attached. So just do what I did with the knife and just pry the cap back out of there And if you make a boo-boo, right? And uh, I would glue it on with some crazy glue, to be honest. Uh, when I get to it, I'll probably fix that up. But, now at least I have a basically game-ish type headphone holder. I just got to figure out where I'm going to stick the thing now. <laughs> but, that's for later. Now, for $5, is it worth it? Well, it does have a lot of different modes to it, which are nice. You can pick, you know, pretty much your favorite color there. Um, if we push and hold. Push and hold. No, see, it doesn't turn off. It's on no matter what. Like I said, no real instructions here. It's like, um, USB, it's a light. Um, definitely no brick. They have no actual instructions on the box to tell you anything about the power. You know, other than you just kind of go by my video and you already know how it runs. You just touch the little sensor is all it is. I think I'd probably go either red or blue. Probably blue. I think blue would be nice. I like blue. Alright, so, no instructions. That's definitely got to come off the top of the points. Um, <laughs> their way of hooking your headphones on, uh-uh. That's not going to be stable whatsoever. Do it this way, the way I have it. So if you look at the side view of it, this should be going this way, okay? Or actually, maybe this is a better view for you. So light goes to the front where it says light on the bottom, that's facing you. This go should go this way, not the other way. Because like I said, doing it their way like this, they'll sit there, but they're not gonna be stable. So if you bump, they're gonna just fall off. And if you got expensive headphones, you don't want them falling off. So put them like that. So do the opposite to the box and put this as front to back and gives you plenty of space especially if you have a wider headband you're going to need that space so makes sense now i think it's worth five bucks to be honest it works it it looks cool it's got lots of functions it's inexpensive i mean there are more expensive ones out on amazon i'm sure why spend the money if you don't need to right some assembly required and they don't even tell you how you have to assume that yep that looks right okay we'll just it it's a one-way plug man like 
So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give this like a three and three quarter out of five. I have to ding it because it's not perfect. I do not like the fact that that cap is kind of gooey glued on. That's to me a bit of a downside. I think the worst part though is there's no instructions whatsoever. Um, the way they show to set it up is wrong as we've discovered. It's not stable. It's more stable my way. So keep that in mind if you decide to pick this up at Dollar Dollarama. Um, yeah, the modes are great. There's plenty of modes. Um, why we have a star constellation down below, I have no idea. Um, but whatever, it is what it is. It's kind of either way, it's a gaming kind of thing. This is more geared to our kids, obviously, because of the moon and the stars and stuff down below. But I don't care, I'm an adult. I don't want to grow up anyhow. Besides, nobody said I had to grow up. Just had to pay, pay my bills. That's it, right? Anyway, maturity is optional. So, but I think the rest of it is workable. It's good. It's got a good stable platform on it. It does have an integrated USB cable, which is nice. Um, okay, what just happened there? Did it just break? You gotta be kidding me. All I did was just touch the wire. That can't be, no way. Oh, see there, we banged it. And... Okay. I don't know what happened there. Uh-huh. It can actually turn off. I don't know what happened with the wire though. That's beyond me. I just pushed it in and out and like you can you can see this yourself. It's not messing up, but something did. But the question is what? It is cheap. It's five bucks. But it it can power off. Earlier it wouldn't. Now it does all of a sudden. Beyond me. So, here's my thing. I'm still sticking with three, three, what did I say? Three and three quarter out of five? I think we're okay with that. I don't expect a ton of longevity out of this thing, especially by the way things are going right now. Um, but, they're in, like I said, their instructions are wrong. This is the right way. You can actually turn it off. You just got to touch and hold, and it'll turn itself off, okay? We definitely had something weird happen there, but it's not the cable, because the cable's fine. I just pushed it in and out, and it's not screwing it up. So unless my finger hit just long enough, I guess I don't know. That was that was a weird one. That was a weird one. Okay, but that's where I'm sitting with it. So if you want to buy it, it's kind of optional. It is more geared toward kids, though. Like I said, it's more of a kids thing. Um, but for adults, I guess if you want a cheap one and you're a cheapskate, or you just don't have a lot of money, period, because a lot of us don't nowadays. You know how that goes, right? Um, hey, the dollar store can get you a really cute toy that gives you that little extra gamer fun to your light up stuff. Um, I have a light up keyboard on my laptop, but I mean, you know, it goes multicolors too. Um, but that's an expensive laptop. Um, anyways, overall though, I think, okay. Just be aware that, yeah, it is lightweight plastic. It is a sturdy base. Okay. Does seem to have a good long cable with a decent plug here. We don't seem to have a problem here, so I don't know what I did that knocked it, but it did turn it off and we got it back on, so that's fine. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of about there on it. I think it's kind of an if and ah thing, right? You know, like if you really want something like this, but you don't want to spend money, go to the Dollarama. Um, but I can't really give it really super high marks. We've already found enough build quality issues, no instructions, that sort of thing to say, well, hey, unless you have my video, Many of you may be, end up being lost, especially if you're not sure how to assemble stuff. But, I mean, the diagram does kind of tell you, but ignore the diagram. They want the headphone thing to go this way. We want it this way, because then we know our headphones are going to stay there, okay? So, anyway, that's it. That's all. Let me know what you guys think in the um, comments below. We'll see what kind of life it gets. Maybe we'll do an update review after a while. I don't know. I, I think it'll stay running. My wife's got those lights and they, they're still running too after all this time and they're great. Anyways, um, that's all. So thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Ciao.